We're starting to see some consolidation uh, come into gold. That's probably long overdue, you may argue. We have seen a very strong rally so far this year. Some of the drivers that we saw back in January, which were the lowering of interest rate expectations in the U.S., also falling bond yields, market turmoil in the stock markets, they have all faded uh, over the past few weeks. And despite of this, we continue to see gold make new highs. And it basically came to a point where, where gold really was running ahead of uh, fundamentals. So at the stage, we are consolidating. We're not really seeing any major selling uh, coming into the market, and this really despite the, uh, the frenzied buying that we see now for the co past couple of months. Just take a look at the uh, ETF uh, holdings. It's risen by almost 275 tons, but in, and uh, hedge funds in, in, in the futures market, they have bought uh, almost close to 500 tons uh, since the beginning of the year. So obviously there's a lot of accumulation of, of gold uh, ha having come in here at, at a relatively short period of time. So having finally entered this phase of consolidation, the big question obviously is how can we go and if you look at the chart the the key levels for me here is the area between 1190 and 1200 1200 is psychological 1190 is the high we had back in the uh, back last october and also if we look at some of the, the major flows that i mentioned that we've seen all the input into uh, futures and etfs most of that has happened above 1190 so as long as we can stay clear of that level then uh, then we, this will just be a consolidation in the market but eventually we'll move higher again the only thing that can uh, rattle the cage is if we see a, a much more hawkish uh, tone from the FMC Wednesday. So that's why the market is also just uh, taking some of the chips off the table at the moment.